All right, guys, they're playing some uh, Nessus top lane in the new patch with all of the item changes. And I'm going to teach you guys exactly on how you can play Nessus in the new patch. So what you want to run right now is Fleet, Triumph, Tenacity, Last End, Biscuits, Cosmic. And then we also have a Dawn's Ring as well as TP. And most importantly, Ghost. You need to play Ghost on Nessus, guys. Um... Now, this game we're playing against an Ilawi, which I consider to be a very, very, very easy matchup. I'm going to show you why. Um, to be honest, there's a lot of good matchups for Nessus. It might surprise you guys because Nessus is widely known to be <laughs> a god at late game and pretty weak in the early game. But there is a lot of good matchups for Nessus right now. Even though we have a weak early game and a, and a like overpowered mid late game, there's so many good ones. Our plan's very simple. Early game, we chill around. That's it. We're relaxing. Um, you know what's really good about this patch that we're living in now? They've been buffing the Bramble's Fest as well as the Thormel. Insane amounts, man. Like, Bramble's Fest is, is, is way better now than what it normally used to be. I can take that one. Yeah, there you go. Um, that means that we are inside of the Ilawi matchup. I already consider this matchup to be a really good one. Um, but now with the Bramble Fest changes, this matchup is even better. Ooh, we're getting pressured in. We're losing some of the CS. Not a very good. It is what it is. Nice. Don't worry too much. The early game is just rough. It is the way it is. But if Ilawi keeps pushing like this, he will definitely die to my jungler, by the way. Man, this guy's playing so aggro. What's he got? He's got TP. I'm gone. This guy has zero wards. This guy is risking so much in this lane, dude. You can only do this for so long. The second my jungler would gank, this guy's gonna die. He's, uh... Oh, he's actually came back. He's not roaming towards the fight in mid. He's missing out on a great opportunity. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is why vision matters. You can play so aggro that you can't even place wards down. And sure, that works to some extent into an SS. But the second you receive a gank, bro, like you're just dead. Like that strategy right there does not work like that, man. Bad. Sure, he got me low. I'd say about 50%. I lost some of the wave, but like... This does not work, bro. Look at this. This guy's even started to take damage now. It's not good for him. Oh, I lose that one. I wanted to hit it with my E. Now let's try. Make sure to sidestep. Now, here comes the fun part about this game. What I'm going to do is... Um, what most Nasus players do is they tend to rush Sheen as a first item. What we're going to do is we're going to rush the Lucidity Boots. I'm going to show you why I'm doing it, okay? Um, in short, the faster you... Um, if you ignore the Sheen for a second, if you rush Lucidity Boots into the right matchup... Uh, you actually get to stack twice as quickly. Which means you can get your power spike twice as fast, right? The more ability haste you rush, uh, the faster you can gain your power spike. And the Lobby matchup allows me to to rush Lucidity Boots. There's a lot of matchups um, which don't allow you to rush it. Oh, I missed that one. That sucks. But the Lobby matchup allows you to rush Lucidity Boots, which is insanely good. Place this one down. Pretty good. Right. 
He got it down. Sidestep. That's enough. The best way to like play out the matchup is pretty much by standing behind the uh, the wave. If I can get a kill on him, it's fine. Yeah, it's worth it. All right, that's not so bad. Um, now what we're going to do is again instead of going for Sheen, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for Kindle Gem again, just rushing the ten ability haste as well as the HP, which allows me to stay up in the in the lane longer. And all we have to do is just keep stacking up. Next time though, I'm going to try hiding behind the wave more so that we don't have to get hit by Ilawisi. Ilawis E is like the most the, the biggest problem. Ilawis got a lot of wave clearing. She she could shred the wave super quickly and then just e, hit E on you. That's why we've been struggling a little bit. Okay. Time to stack up. Now comes the fun part of the game. Watch how fast my stacks are going to go now. An ally has been slain. There you go. 123 stacks so far. It's okay if you get hit a couple times. Make sure you drop in the Qs whenever you can though. Because that way, like, you can also bring him down. Only do it, like, if you can uh, take it without any damage in return. That would be the best trade. Is part of a this creep block, bro. Is over. He's going to try eating me. So I'm going to stay out of it. Just hit a Q, that's it. Back to stacking again. Look how fast we can stack us. Look at this. We're getting we're getting a Q off on every CS right now without any problems at all. Nice try. Back to stacking again. You see how powerful this is, guys? Every CS that goes down, we get a stack now. This is how you maximize stacks on Nessus. This is the, the, the way to do it. Sidestep again. We take the, the stack. The more stacks we can gain in the early game, and then get Sheen after, the uh, stronger you're going to be. What? Okay. Super random Twitch. Twitch support. Alright, dude. Well, I ain't got TP anyway. I'll stay around. The wave is uh, shuffling. What likely happens is I'm going to get hit by E. So I'm going to respect Ilawi. Just... Ah, I still get hit by E. That sucks. That's a disappointment. Okay. Look how low this guy's getting. Okay. He's got no uh no E. And there you go. You can see like you have a definitely enough damage to be able to kill your opponent. Um, even when you're going for the, the ability haste rush, you still have a lot of damage because you're stacking so fast in the lane phase that your damage is coming off of the stacks, not the sheen. That's the difference in, in, in rushing items, right? If you have sheen, you already have more damage. Like, definitely you have more damage. But in return, you don't get to stack as quickly. So your power spike is going to be delayed by a, like a large portion. Like you will see now, now we have Sheen. 
Like we're 11 minutes in the game. We have um, we have 219 stacks. 11 minutes in. Now if we hit my Sheen proc with my Q, we're going to do some insane damage. Check this out. He's got no E, so I'm just uh, stacking it. Thank you for that. Also, you sustain every time you uh, you farm. Nice try. And there you go. Super easy. Now we shove. When I play Nessus, I'm being very consistent with the amount of stacks I gain. We're like 12 minutes in. We nearly have 300 stacks already, guys. And when I play Nessus, I get these amount of stacks every single game. This is how I do it. You know? This is how most Nasus players always get ridiculous stacks in like such a short amount of time in the early game. Because ability haste in the season we live in is just broken. The ability haste is it's uh it's unbalanced for, for Nasus. You can get cooldown so easily with ability haste, and you you can get so much more, like you can go past the 40% easily. So stacking is so 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 easy to do, guys. It's it's um you don't have to try it like as hard anymore. Let's see. I want to go for. I actually want to go for Spirit Visage. But I also want to go for Frozen Heart because of the attack speed from Twitch. Also, um, Frozen Heart against everyone else is also pretty good. Rengar too. Although against Rengar, not as effective, but it does work. Because Rengar also has attack speed quite a bit after. Um... You gonna use your E or no? Okay, there it is. I was like trying to sidestep the E. Actually, end up like not using it. Hmm. Okay, now we go back to stacking again. We got 318 stacks. And there it is. An ally has been slain. Just, uh, get the turret as well. I'll be stacking the turret for even more. There it is. Yeah, now we take over the game. This game is going to be an absolute super 1v9. Like, we have the perfect pick into their team comp. Wait until I got my TP. I'll be crushing everyone. <clears throat> so now we just stay consistent until we can uh, purchase, or uh, until we can, yeah, until we can purchase the 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 frozen heart and also get my TP up. If I have my TP up at that point, the game is going to turn into my favor because then I can stack up and also uh, roam TP at the same time. So now we're just kind of chilling out, stacking whatever we can. We have nearly 400 stacks at 15 minutes in the game. We can definitely 1 versus 2 now if Rengar does decide to jump in. So I will only get stronger at this point. The second he's going to miss E, I will go in. Okay, I'll probably die. Yeah, I end up like not not being able to dodge the smart. <clears throat> he um, decided to flash forward, so I couldn't I couldn't outrun him anymore. That was not bad for me, Lale. Uh, 
Uh, I'm willing to sell these. Now I got my item. Yo, man, we have my uh, TP now. It's It sucks that I died. It really does, but I don't think I'll notice any, any difference here. Just the delay in, 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 in my stacks and everything. But I got my TP now, and I have my two items. All we need to counter Ilawi is Bramble's Fest. And that's it. The Bramble will counter the healing on, on Ilawi. And basically make him useless. I could have bought it sooner. But there's been no need to do it so far. I <clears throat> Stack up again. Oh, he's going in. Oh, I missed the opportunity, bro. It's an AP Twitch. That's why he's doing damage. Bro, I missed the opportunity. That sucks, man. I did not know he was going to QR. My bad. Hmm. Yep. He can get the Drake if he wants. He can take that. I'll be stacking ball lane. Let's go. Man, I'm I'm turning into a beast. Like I'll be literally unkillable in this game. Like they'll never kill me anymore. Look at this. I don't even have to auto attack anymore. Got my cannon. I think that's Twitch. Yeah, that's Twitch is here. Yeah, yeah, got him too. Well, yeah, I suppose like this kind of explains everything, right? Still have my TP, so we can do anything we like in this game. We're preparing for the next uh, fight immediately. Don't stop stacking. There you go. Five hundred sixty-four stacks and like nineteen men. Let's go back again. Three stack. That switch is AP. That's why he tries. But I have frozen heart, so his attack speed is being uh, it's being reduced. Let's go back here. Man, I, I love this item. This item is really good. Oh, they go for a surrender. They they know like I'm gonna be popping off the rest of the game, so like I have like three thousand gold I didn't even use. I still had TP, which I need I didn't even end up using it either. So yeah. Hey, either way, this is Nessus Top. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.